All right, so let's say you want to stuff some cheese inside of a piece of chicken or a, or a goose or a piece of venison backstrap like this. Here's what a lot of people do. They take cheese and they put it in the middle of this butterfly piece of venison backstrap. And then you roll it up, you put toothpicks in it or something like that. And what happens is, when it gets to the right temperature, all the cheese has disappeared. Let me give you this one tip. After you've seasoned it up real well, get a little seasoning in there with your favorite seasoning. Take some breadcrumbs and either mix it in with the cheese before you put it in or put it in right on top of it. What these breadcrumbs are doing, these are, this is panko, this is a coarse seasoned Japanese breadcrumb. What the breadcrumbs will do will keep the cheese from running out. Because of course if you're going to put cheese inside of something, when you get to eat it, you do want to actually have some cheese. I have a venison backstrap that's been seasoned with my favorite high mountain seasoning. I've got some blue cheese, some breadcrumbs to keep the cheese from running out. And now how do I wrap this thing up so that it stays tucked up and rolled together while I cook it? First thing I'm going to do is take this edge and fold it in. And I'm just going to run it, keep my fingers in here to keep it snugly wrapped, just like a burrito. Now at this point, you can use toothpicks to stick through it, but what I prefer to do is butcher string. And what some people do is they'll tie a number of little circles around it, but let me show you just how easy it is. You take this piece of string here, and you bring it through that first little loop that you tied on. That goes through there. Now, take it, bring it back over here again, hold that up, so that there's a space here, bring it through, and continue until you get to the end of your piece of meat. This is a great way to keep big goose breasts, venison hindquarter muscles, elk steaks that you happen to stuff. The whole thing just gets completely wrapped up, and you can tie it snugly. If at the end you leave a little bit of a, of a loose end here, what that gives you is something to tie on to for your final knot, that is how you tie up anything.